When I arrived in 1997, our area was full of um, shotgun um, homes um, and they were dilapidated. They were not rented and they were empty, empty uh, buildings. Um, because of the activity that was going on um, in those homes, we decided that the best thing to do was that the church would purchase that property and somehow clean up the area. Well, my name is Sean Dogan, and I pastor the Long Branch Baptist Church in Greenville, South Carolina. Um, I've been here for the last 17 years, since um, 1997. When I came to Long Branch, um, we had a small congregation, and we've been blessed to have an increase of membership and therefore our state in the community and care for our present area has really grown over the years. So in the quest of cleaning up the area, uh, we purchased a total of 25 houses on one street and eight houses um, on another property and um, partnered with our local fire department to um, take down the houses and some of them were burnt for exercise, for fire exercises. Um, in that, um, it prepared us for the expansion that we did here at the church about six years ago. And that was preparing land in order to build um, a center for the community and for worship purposes as well. In that, uh, we had a stream that flowed back behind the church in which the church is named after. So the branch is the namesake of the church, Long Branch Baptist Church. And um, in preparing, um, for that, uh, we had to do some restorations to the stream area and uh, we called um, Soil and Water Conservation District um, to help us with that, to give us some tips on what we could do for um, restoring the stream but also um, preserving the banks. Um, in that, we met Lynn Newton and Dave Demarest who were great advocates and great um, educational um, guides um, to help us through that process. My name is Lynn Newton and I am the Supervisory District Conservationist for the uh, Tiger Watershed which is composed of uh, five uh, counties within the upstate of South Carolina and I work with the Natural Resources Conservation Service. I've been working for, uh, for 24 years and I have worked in five field offices across two states. In the fall of, of 09 completed the stream bank uh, restoration out there and that involved um, restoring 170 feet of, of the stream and then to protect the, uh, the back part of the new auditorium out there we installed uh, 70 feet of uh, pipe that was a uh, 60 inch diameter pipe and uh, of course we had to get the permits and the, the church paid for the $25,000 of the cost to do, to do that restoration and the district provided construction oversight. We uh, decided to apply for a grant through the South Carolina Forestry Commission Urban Community Program to plant curb trees along the perimeter of the property to help with the beautification out there. So we received a $5,000 grant to do that and that included the planting of the trees and also uh, doing a uh, tree planting workshop because lots of people that plant trees don't really know the proper way to to plant them and get them to grow and do well. We did that and we planted 42 uh, trees out there and we had um, uh, volunteers from the community, we had uh, church members that were there, uh, the district staff um, and uh, lots of us were out there uh, helping plant the trees. In meeting with Lynn Newton and Dave Demaris, um, the question was, what were we going to do with all of the space where the houses were torn down? What were we going to do with that? And the plans were to um, utilize it for just regular parking and things of that nature, things that you would need for a new building. Um, Lynn asked the question, have we ever considered uh, making it a green space? At that time, we had no idea what even the term green space meant. We knew we were in Greenville, but we did not know what green space was. After being educated on what green space um, was, um, we really worked with the district in helping us formulate um, a plan that they would help us um, with um, turning it into a beautiful green space. In uh, February of 2010, we planted um, uh, 20 
um, trees along the creek out there um, to act as a riparian buffer in that area. And uh, another great partner that we have with this project out there is Trees Greenville, and they, they donated the trees for that. Um, on our campus now, we have over 60 beautiful, healthy trees um, that has come out of that project that we partnered uh, with people in the community to help us plant those trees. Um, also, a rock sitting area was, uh, was also um, designed and built, and um, the district helped us guide um, and guided us through that as well. In 2010, we received another grant uh, for another, another phase of, of the work out there. And uh, that was through Palmetto Pride uh, in South Carolina to install the native sitting area, native rock sitting area that you see out there. And, uh, and that grant was for almost, almost $4,000 to do that work. Um, ultimately, uh, what sits there now is a playground area, which we're a play desert. Um, this area is a play desert and a food desert. Um, but we have a beautiful playground that um, we partner with another congregation, Christ Church Episcopal, um, and the district <laughs> to help us uh, with the planning of that. And we purchased um, the playground equipment and used it for a wonderful work day that in a matter of a week we had a playground area. Um, ultimately, um, a garden is there now with a greenhouse. Um, and it is the um, site for a wonderful organization called Mill Village Farms. Um, that they employ um, youth in our community um, by taking care of the garden and greenhouse um, and also um, they use it for education with youth entrepreneurship. We've had wonderful collaborations and partnership. Kirsten Robinson has really helped us as well and she's part of the district and um, has helped us. She's brought out goats and done water pollution exercises with the kids and we've utilize that opportunity to educate our kids in our community and the church. The thought of green space and the positives and negatives on what could take place, especially in the inner city, was one of concern. One concern was is that it would be utilized for um, detrimental activity, um, such as drug activity or any type of um, just bad things happening. And we really felt as though instead of trying to protect it, to allow the community to buy in and to have that uh, cooperation with the community, letting them help us plant the trees, allowing them to um, help with green spaces and the cultivation of building a playground together, that they really became owners and owners are always stewards. If you can allow the community to become an owner of a project, they will steward it and they will make sure that the protection is there. And so even though there were many who felt as though maybe we should put fencing up or some type of um, guards um, around it um, was, was, was eliminated um, by the buy-in of the community and it was wonderful to see the community um, come together. Anytime community, faith-based, and even governmental entities can all come together to work together for collaboration and for partnership is always a beautiful thing. The local community has responded to the new green space in a wonderful way. We have weddings, picnics, um, family gatherings there um, that's not sponsored by the church, um, that people call and want to have their weddings at the rock sitting areas or want to have um, picnics or to meet with their families to enjoy the playground. The plans that we have for the future is to hopefully mimic exactly what we've done here in other areas to work with other faith-based organizations um, to educate them on um, what the district can really provide in that um, the district really does not desire to be in some four walls, but they really desire to get out to educate and bring that education to the community. So it's been a um a really really great project out there and um, in my 24 year career that's working with Long Branch Baptist Church has been the the best project that I'm most proud of in all my in all my career. When I think about this project I think about all of the people who came together and all of the entities from the members right here at Long Branch Baptist Church to the community who live in the Greater Sullivan um, area, um, to the district, especially to Lynn Newton and Dave Demarest, to all of the partners, Trees Greenville, um, and all of 
the technical support that we um, were given. We couldn't have done it without um, the community and we definitely couldn't have done it without the district. So thank you so very much.